In the history of video games, the eighth generation includes consoles released since 2012 by Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. For home consoles, the eighth generation began on November 18, 2012 with the release of the Wii U, and continued with the release of the PlayStation 4 on November 15, 2013, and Xbox One on November 22, 2013. The Wii U was eventually discontinued on January 31, 2017 to make way for the Nintendo Switch on March 3, 2017. These video game consoles follow their seventh-generation predecessors, Nintendo's Wii, Sony's PlayStation 3 and Microsoft's Xbox 360, respectively. For video game handhelds, the generation began in February 2011 with the release of the Nintendo 3DS, successor to the Nintendo DS, in Japan, followed by a North American and European release in March. Nintendo released additional variants in the 3DS family, such as the new Nintendo 3DS and the new Nintendo 2DS XL. The successor of the PlayStation Portable, the PlayStation Vita, was released in Japan in December 2011, and in Western markets in February 2012. The generation was predicted to face competition from smartphones, tablets, and smart TVs. In 2013, gaming revenue on Android overtook portable game console revenue, while remaining a distant second to iOS gaming revenue. In FY 2013, ending early 2013, Nintendo sold 23.7 million consoles, while Apple sold 58.2 million iPads in FY 2012, ending late 2012. One particular threat to the traditional console game sales model has been the free-to-play model, wherein most users play free and either a small number of dedicated players spend enough to cover the rest, or the game is supported by advertising. Before 2017, all three of the eighth-generation home consoles use AMD GPUs, and two of them use AMD CPUs, a transition from IBM's PoRPC architecture used in the previous generation. Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony were not aware that they were all using AMD processors until all their consoles were announced. Both AMD and NVIDIA are optimistic for the PC market, as the unified CPU, GPU processors in the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One use the same x86 programming architecture found in PCs, with AMD planning to introduce similar processors to desktop and laptop PCs in the near future. With the release of the Nintendo Switch however, Nintendo used an NVIDIA GPU and an NVIDIA Tegra X1 chip as their CPU. Various microconsoles have been released since 2012, although they are seldom referred to as part of the 8th or any generation of consoles. These have included the Ouya, NVIDIA Shield console, Mojo, Razer Switchblade, GamePop, GameStick, and PC-based Steam Machine consoles. Transition Though prior console generations have normally occurred in five to six year cycles, the transition from seventh to eighth generation has lasted more than six years. The transition is also unusual in that the prior generation's best-selling unit, the Wii, is the first to be replaced in the eighth generation. In 2011, Microsoft had stated they began looking at their next console, but they, along with Sony, considered themselves only halfway through a 10-year lifecycle for their seventh-generation offerings. Sony and Microsoft representatives have stated that the addition of motion controllers and camera-based controllers like Kinect and PlayStation Move have extended these systems' lifetimes. Nintendo president Satoru Iwata had stated that his company would be releasing the Wii U due to declining sales of seventh-generation home consoles and that the market is now waiting for a new proposal for home consoles. Sony considered making its next console a digital download-only machine, but decided against it due to concerns about the inconsistency of Internet speeds available globally, especially in developing countries. Chinese market The eighth generation of consoles also sees a re-entry of manufacturers into the Chinese market, following the lifting of a 14-year video game console ban there during 2014. The Chinese government banned video game consoles in 2000, citing concerns of their effect on youth, meaning that consoles were forbidden to be officially and legally sold in retail stores in China, forcing console gaming into a niche and creating a black market for imported game devices. 
Both Microsoft and Sony have announced that they intend on releasing their consoles in China via the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, with the Xbox One released there in September 2014, whilst the PlayStation 4 launched in China in March 2015. CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment Andrew House has also explained in September 2013 that the company intends on using the PlayStation Vita TV as a low-cost alternative for consumers in an attempt to penetrate the Chinese gaming market. <laughs> Home consoles <laughs> Wii U. In November 2010, Nintendo of America CEO Reggie Fils Amy stated that the release of the next generation of Nintendo would be determined by the continued success of the Wii. Nintendo announced their successor to the Wii, the Wii U, at the Electronic Entertainment Expo 2011 on June 7, 2011. After the announcement, several journalists classified the system as the first eighth-generation home console. However, prominent sources have disputed this because of its comparative lack of power and older disc media type with respect to the announced specifications for PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. The Wii U's main controller, the Wii U GamePad, features an embedded touchscreen that can work as an auxiliary interactive screen in a fashion similar to the Nintendo DS, 3DS, or if compatible with Off TV Play, can even act as the main screen itself, enabling games to be played without the need of a television. The Wii U is compatible with its predecessor's peripherals, such as the Wii Remote Plus, the Nunchuck, and the Wii Balance Board. The Wii U was released in North America on November 18, 2012, in Europe on November 30, 2012, and in Japan on December 8, 2012. It came in two versions, the basic model and the deluxe, premium model, at the price of $300 and $349 US dollars, respectively. On August 28, 2013, Nintendo announced the production of the basic model has ended and expected supplies to be exhausted by September 20, 2013. On October 4, 2013, the deluxe, premium model was price cut from $349 to $300. The Wii U had lifetime sales of about 13 million, in sharp contrast with the Wii, which had over 100 million over its life. This financially hurt Nintendo, with several financial quarters running at a loss through 2014. Nintendo had anticipated the Wii U would sell similarly to the Wii. Nintendo officially discontinued the Wii U on January 31, 2017, about a month before the release of the Nintendo Switch. Topic. Switch. Due to the poor sales of the Wii U, along with competition from mobile gaming, then-President Satoru Iwata sought to revitalize the company by creating a new strategy for Nintendo that included embracing mobile gaming, and developing new hardware that would be attractive to a wider range of audiences. The hardware product was announced under the codename NX in a press conference held with Dina on March 17, 2015, and fully revealed as the Nintendo Switch on October 20, 2016. The unit was released worldwide on March 3, 2017. The Switch is considered by Nintendo a home console that has multiple ways to play. The main unit, the console, is a tablet-sized device with a touch-sensitive screen. It can be inserted into a docking station which allows games to be played on a connected television. Alternatively, two Joy-Con, motion-sensitive controllers comparable to the Wii remotes, can be slotted onto the sides of the console so the unit can be played as a handheld. Further, the console can be set on a kickstand, allowing multiple players to see the screen and play games with separate Joy-Con. Additionally, Nintendo built the Switch on standard industry components, allowing for ease of porting games onto the system using standard software libraries and game engines rather than Nintendo's proprietary approaches. This enabled them to bring several third-party and independent game developers on board prior to launch to assure a strong software library. The Switch was met with critical praise and commercial success. Nintendo had anticipated selling about 10 million Switches in the first year of release but ended up exceeding this projection with total first-year sales of over 17 million units, exceeding the Wii U's lifetime sales. In late 2017, the Nintendo Switch was the fastest-selling console in U.S. history, and in November 2018 it was the fastest-selling of all the eighth-generation consoles in the U.S. Topic. 
PlayStation 4 On February 20, 2013, Sony announced the PlayStation 4 during a press conference in New York City, and it was released on November 15, 2013, in North America. The new console places a heavy emphasis on features surrounding social interaction, gameplay videos can be shared via the PlayStation Network and other services, and users can stream games being played by themselves or others either through the console, or directly to services such as Twitch. The PS4's DualShock 4 controller is similar to the previous model, but adds a touchpad and a share button, along with an LED light bar on the front to allow motion tracking. An updated camera accessory will also be offered for the system. It now uses 1280x800px stereo cameras with support for depth sensing similar to Kinect, and remains compatible with the PlayStation Move peripherals. The PS4 will also have second screen capabilities through both mobile apps and the PlayStation Vita, and game streaming through the recently acquired Gaikai service. The PlayStation 4 was released on November 15, 2013, in North America and November 29, 2013, in Australia and Europe at $399.99, $549.399 euros respectively. Xbox One On May 21, 2013, Microsoft announced the Xbox One at an event in Redmond, Washington. The console has an increased focus on entertainment, including the ability to pass television programming from a set-top box over HDMI and use a built-in electronic program guide, and the ability to multitask by snapping applications such as Skype and Internet Explorer to the side of the screen, similarly to Windows 8. The Xbox One features a new controller with impulse triggers that provide force feedback, and the ability to automatically record and save highlights from gameplay. An updated version of Kinect was developed for Xbox One, with a 1080p camera and expanded voice controls. Originally bundled with the console, it has since been downplayed and excluded from later bundles. The Xbox One was released in North America, Europe, and Australia on November 22, 2013, at a launch price of €499.99, €499.99 and €599 respectively with Japan, and was later released in 26 other markets in 2014. It had two mid-generation upgrades, one released in 2016 called the Xbox One Slim, and the other called the Xbox One X. The Slim was the cheaper option, but did not power 4K gaming like the X. Topic. Comparison Topic. Handheld systems A trend starting from the eighth generation of handheld systems is that the general shift from dedicated handheld gaming consoles to mobile gaming on smart devices, such as smartphones and tablets. As such, smart devices have eroded sales of dedicated handheld gaming consoles, with analysts predicting that smart devices will replace handheld gaming consoles in the near future. Topic 3DS. The Nintendo 3DS is a portable game console produced by Nintendo. It is the successor to the Nintendo DS. The autostereoscopic device is able to project stereoscopic 3D effects without the use of 3D glasses or any additional accessories. The Nintendo 3DS features backward compatibility with Nintendo DS series software, including Nintendo DSi software. Announcing the device in March 2010, Nintendo officially unveiled it at E3 2010, with the company inviting attendees to use demonstration units. The console succeeds the Nintendo DS series of handheld systems, which primarily competes with PlayStation Portable. It competes with Sony's handheld, the PlayStation Vita. The Nintendo 3DS was released in Japan on February 26, 2011, in Europe on March 25, 2011, in North America on March 27, 2011, and in Australia on March 31, 2011. On July 28, 2011, Nintendo announced a major price drop starting August 12. 
In addition, as of September 2011 consumers who bought the system at its original price have access to 10 Nintendo Entertainment System games before they are available to the general public, after which the games may be updated to the versions publicly released on the Nintendo eShop. In December 2011, 10 Game Boy Advance games were made available to consumers who bought the system at its original price at no charge, with Nintendo stating it has no plans to release to the general public. On June 21, 2012, Nintendo announced a new, bigger model of the 3DS called the Nintendo 3DS XL. It has 90% larger screens than the 3DS and slightly longer battery life. It was released on July 28, 2012, in Europe and August 19, 2012, in North America as well as Australasia on August 23, 2012, and Brazil on September 1, 2012. On August 28, 2013, Nintendo announced a low-cost, 2D version of the 3DS called the Nintendo 2DS. This redesign plays all Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS games, albeit without a 3D option. Unlike previous machines of the DS family, the Nintendo 2DS uses a slate-like design instead of a clamshell one. The console launched on October 12 in both Europe and North America as well as Australasia. On August 29, 2014, Nintendo announced a newer model of the 3DS called the New Nintendo 3DS and New Nintendo 3DS XL. It was released in Japan on October 11, 2014, in Australasia on November 21, 2014, in Europe on February 13, 2015, in North America on February 13, 2015, for the XL version. The smaller version for North America was released on September 25, 2015 bundled with the game Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer. In April 2017, Nintendo announced the new Nintendo 2DS XL, due for release in Japan on July 13, 2017, and in North America on July 28, 2017. It is a streamlined version of the new Nintendo 3DS XL, with identical screen sizes and its updated processor, but with a refreshed design and a thinner build. PlayStation Vita. PlayStation Vita is a handheld game console developed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It is the successor to the PlayStation Portable as part of the PlayStation brand of gaming devices. It was released in Japan on December 17, 2011 and was released in Europe and North America on February 22, 2012. The handheld includes two analog sticks, a 5-inch mm OLED, LCD multi-touch capacitive touchscreen, and supports Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and optional 3G. Internally, the PS Vita features a 4-core ARM Cortex-A9 MP core processor and a 4-core SGX543 MP4 Plus graphics processing unit, as well as Liveria software as its main user interface, which succeeds the Xros MediaBar. The device is backward compatible with a subset of the PlayStation Portable and PS1 games digitally released on the PlayStation Network via the PlayStation Store. However, PS1 Classics and TURBOGRAFX 16 titles were not compatible at launch. The Vita's dual analog sticks are supported on selected PSP games via button mapping. The graphics for PSP releases are upscaled, with a smoothing filter to reduce pixelation. Comparison See also List of video game consoles List of home video game consoles List of handheld game consoles List of dedicated consoles List of microconsoles <laughs>